The Pander 2 is the direct evolution of the original Pander which emerged from Austria in 1996 and went on to find a modest customer base that included the United States Army. In its original form, the vehicle showcased a 6x6 all-wheel drive arrangement, was powered by a six-cylinder stair diesel engine, and carried a crew of two with eight combat-ready troops. While still in service, the design has been superseded on paper by the Pander 2 which brings about extensive modularity to better suit customer battlefield requirements. The vehicle is built under the Stair Daimler Puck, SDP, brand label. Other, licensed, production is had in the Czech Republic as well as in Portugal. The Pander 2 began operational service in 2001. The 32,000 pounds vehicle has both a 6x6 or 8x8 all-wheeled form available, the latter extending the hull and chassis and introducing more internal volume as well as an additional axle. Each side of the hull is dominated by large, run-flat road wheels and angled armor is featured throughout the hull's design. This includes a very sloped glassy plate and near-flat hull roof life, giving the vehicle a short profile along the horizon. Over the hull roof can be seated a variety of power turrets featuring auto cannons, machine guns, automatic grenade launchers, AGLs, and anti-tank, guided missile, ATGM, launchers to meet the battlefield need. The typical auto cannon fit is the 30mm MK44 Bushmaster series. An upgun turret seats the 105mm Cockerill tank killing gun. Traditional machine gun fits include both 7.62mm anti-infantry types as well as the proven 12.7mm Browning Heavy Machine Gun HMG. Supported ATGMs currently include the American TOW-2 and the Israeli Spike LR types for ranged, armor-defeating firepower. Turrets can also showcase smoke grenade dischargers to screen the vehicle's movements under prying eyes. Power is from a six-cylinder liquid-cooled, turbocharged inline diesel-fueled engine driving power to the four axles. Operational range reaches 700 km and road speeds max out at 105 kmh. Being inherently amphibious, the truck can ford water sources, via propeller jets, at speeds of about 11 kmh. Internally, the hull supports the operating crew of two with passenger space for up to 12 depending on the configuration of the truck, the turret reduces occupancy. Access to the hull is through a power door at the rear or through roof-mounted hatches. Dimensions of the vehicle include a running length of 7.35 meters, a beam of 2.67 meters, and a height of 2.1 meters. Coupled to its manageable weight, the truck can be transported in the belly of a Lockheed C-130 Hercules Super Hercules or similar tactical level fixed-wing transport aircraft. The Portuguese Army went all-in on the Pander II design, securing a fleet of forms that cover gun carriers, infantry carriers, recovery vehicles, command and control, C-2, platforms, medevac models, signaling vehicles, and surveillance vehicles. Similarly, the Czech Army has invested heavily in the type which also covers a plethora of roles for the service, some of which have seen combat exposure in Afghanistan. The KOV Kurpan form was intended for the Slovenian Army but rebuffed, this version would have allowed over half the parts to be fabricated within Slovenia itself for final assembly by STA in-country. Though in direct competition with designs such as the Finnish Patria AMV, as selected by Slovenia and detailed elsewhere on the military factory, the Pander 2 continues to see a growing number of global users that currently, 2023, includes Austria, Czechia, Indonesia, and Portugal. The Philippines is a future customer as the Army Service has selected the design in its 8x8 wheeled form, with Israeli Elbit Electronics, Systems, and Weapons, to serve as the Sabra Light Tank.